All right, this fabulous Friday couldn't be better because our good friend Randy Z is here to cook up something simple, spectacular, and absolutely delicious. So uh, thanks for being with us, Randy. And we're gonna do a frittata today. So what is a frittata? Well, we got uh, eggs, and then I chose some nice spices and meat. Mm -hmm. And basically, for us, the common way to say it's just an omelet that we don't fold over or flip. Okay. And you bake it in the oven after you start it on the stovetop. Okay. So it's pretty simple. Yeah. Um, we're going to start out with, uh, we got eight whole eggs mm -hmm. and two egg yolks only. All righty. Okay, so I a little extra on the little, little yolk extra yolk side is going to give you a more custardy, good uh, mm -hmm. mix there. I do the same with omelets. I always have one yolk with two full mm -hmm. eggs. Right, I right. like the c consistency that that gives you. Yeah. So those are in there ready to get whipped up. Uh, first thing we're gonna do, we have broccoli in this, mm -hmm. and we have three different cheeses, and then we got some hot capicola. Particular cheeses? Can uh, I cheeses? have uh, mozzarella, provolone, and Munster mixed okay. in there. You can use whatever you want. They're gonna go in the dish, not on the top. You can top it with cheese if you like it real cheesy, but do right. that in the last five minutes yep. when it's in the oven, yep. or it'll yep. burn up. So this is an oven dish, so it's a bit like a, a souf not a souffle, uh, you said something like a quiche without a crust, or? Yeah, or a strata without bread. It's uh -huh. a, and they're all kind of the same thing. It's uh -huh. just basically eggs. So first thing I have here is a tablespoon of uh, the uh, sun-dried paste, tomato paste, pesto, mm -hmm. I mean, and I just want to get that broken down in here. All right. and so it's not one big of, uh, clump, and it's in a cream? third cup of heavy cream. heavy cream. Now, one thing about these dishes, when you bake them like that, you need the fat, okay? If you use skim milk because you're on a diet or you're watching your calorie count, it's not going to work for you very well because it's going to get watery. Uh, it's not going to have that, that boldness it's gonna get to fluffy it. fluffy and... Yeah, no fluff, no custard, just, it's just going to be wet, really yeah. wet. You don't yeah, want don't that. Do that. Okay, so we're just going to mix that, let that break itself down there. And then um, we're gonna steam our broccoli for about a minute. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like pre-cooking it. And we're gonna set it off. And then we'll get, uh, we got onions going in there. And then we have some basil and some thyme. All right, so fresh, not, not uh, can you fresh. use dry? You can use dry, use half as much dry as, as the recipe calls for. Okay. Um, and if you're gonna use dry, go ahead and mix it with your cream right now so mm -hmm. it'll hydrate mm -hmm. and get uh, some moisture to it. It won't be so dry in your dish. Mm -hmm. So here we just want a couple cups and we're just gonna take the tops, your florets the there. Mm -hmm. yep. And just get those out. Do you ever use the stalk? Yes, I will make, uh, that will be broccoli slaw. Mm -hmm. Right there, just grate it up. Instead of cabbage, just use with, the broccoli. With the skin on or the, yep. Uh, yep. the peel just, on? Yep, just okay. like an apple. You know, you can peel it and eat it or you can eat yeah. it. You know, it's not going to hurt you at all. A lot all, of good so fiber, all good. I'm sure, there. Yep, good fiber and vitamins in there. Uh, just like a baked potato, you know, you can eat the skin if you like. I like the skin. I do too. I always I'm, like the skin. A little secret here. My wife doesn't eat the skin. My daughter doesn't eat the skin comes my way. There you go. <laughs> so we're going to put these in. This is just a steamer. Um, the perforated holes in the bottom yep, here. Steam yep. that up. Oh, double gonna, boiler steamer there. Yep. yep. Get that going for a minute. Clear my way. And this is just a hot capicola. You can get at your deli section. And All just right. Slice it's it a up. Type of salami. It's a Italian hotter version, a higher uh -huh. quality than a salami. So a salami, it's a little pepperoni-ish, but yeah, it's a kind of cross between the pepperoni and the, the salami. salami. Got some good heat in it. Uh, kind of like I do with, a, say, a shallot's kind of between a green onion and a garlic. This right. is kind of okay. between the two. Okay. So we're going to take that. We're going to go in our pan with a tablespoon of olive oil mm -hmm. just to help that out because it's really not a lot of fat content on here. Right. And we're right. going to get that browned up while yeah. we do that. Yes. Saute that and brown that up. Yep, a little crispy. It's going to go on the top. We don't want to mix it with the eggs. I like it setting on the top, but okay. that's just my personal preference. Yeah. So now we've got... About a minute going there. Take that off. All righty. Yep. Set that. So par, par boiled, par steamed. Yep. yep. Put that down It'll there and not finish catch in the, the oven place with the, fire. Uh, the rest of it, right? It, yes, it will. It'll continue to cook there, just mm -hmm. like a pasta would. If you want to stop that process, then you need to splash that in cold water. If you're going to do a lot of them and you want to get your broccoli par cooked out of the way first, yep. go ahead and splash that in some ice water, and then you can come back to it and mm -hmm. add it to the pan here. So we'll just get that going here. Cook that up, broccoli all the way. So we got our thyme, our fresh thyme, right. as a teaspoon. Okay. And this one's just grown; it grows upwards. So yep. all you do is start at the top, pull it back down, back the stalk, all and right. then you have is. you'll have all your thyme right there. Now do you have there. to chop that, or you just leave nope, that as I'm it is? I'm putting that right in there, like okay. it is. And some fresh basil, I'm going to chop up. Mm -hmm. Get that in there. You want to peel those off the stalk? Yep. I'll get the stalk out of there. Mm -hmm. One thing about this, you don't want to do it too soon because you, you can bruise it. Yeah. Okay. It's black or brown. Yep. It'll get black on you. Mm -hmm. Yep. So a really good oh sharp gosh, knife. The smell. And get it cut up there. Nothing like the smell of fresh basil getting chopped. Oh, up. I'm telling you, it's one of my favorite. That and rosemary. Just yeah. I could just wear it around my neck. I love it. 
well, I could do that with garlic, the too. the vampires away. I could do that with garlic, too, but <laughs> for some reason, garlic in my body, I guess, you, I can walk in the house after, after tasting something with garlic, yeah. and my wife will go, you're kidding me, you had yeah. garlic today. I'm like, yeah. how can you tell? That was 12 hours ago. <laughs> it, goes through your, it goes through into your blood, which oh, is really man. good for you. Yeah, it's good for me. But then it goes through your skin. Yeah, but she don't like which it. Which is maybe not good for those around you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I'm going to add this cream and this pesto in here. Uh -huh. And then I'm going to add the rest of my ingredients, which is, here's a tablespoon of pink peppercorn, uh -huh. which is actually a berry. Not crushed? Nope. Or, or ground up? Just, nope, just whole. Just whole. They're pretty soft compared okay. to other peppercorns. Yeah. Just one thing about those, they are a berry from a bush. They are in the cashew family. Uh -huh. So if you have a peanut issue, yep. stay away. Okay. Because it, you could have a reaction. Pink peppercorns. Yep. And then there goes our thyme, one, yep. uh, in one teaspoon. And then we got a half of, I'm using salt. Can you believe that? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I never use salt. You know that. Half first. a teaspoon After of After 18 years here on the Harvest <laughs> Show, <laughs> finally put salt in something. <laughs> you know, I don't like it. <laughs> okay. And then here we go with our... Uh, yeah. All right, so there's your kind Basil. of uh, omelet uh, yep. mix there. And then my cheese. Uh-huh. And I want to really whip this vigorously. And uh, a lot of times I don't like doing that because you get the proteins all woke up and angry, as they say. Yeah. But here I, I need that fluff get, and that custard in this. I really get it. A little bit of air yep. in there. Yep, get some air going on in okay. there. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to get that going. I'm going to set that off. Out of the way. Now all the these camera. things are pretty much available in the oh, yeah, supermarket. Nothing. Pink peppercorns are even... You're finding them in your normal stores now. Okay. So we're going to do a cup of an onion, uh, just a sweet onion, and we're going to have that sliced, not diced. Not diced. Nope. All right. And we'll put that in. That's going to go back in with our broccoli. Uh-huh. Okay. Very good. Man, so crisp that up. I wish the folks could smell this. It's just fantastic. Okay, I'm going to take that off. All right, broccoli. And uh, I'm going to put my broccoli back on. Goes in the, in the With my pan. onions. All right. Okay. And, and we're add gonna, any more oil. Nope. Don't need to do that? Nope, you got the fat out of the meat, you got the oil in there, mm -hmm. and that's one thing that I try to teach a lot is uh, you don't need all the butter, all the oils, all the things. Your vegetables, especially mushrooms and, vet and onions and things will, will leach, sweat and they'll leach out that. leach a little yep. liquid. Mm -hmm. And that's enough because if we put too much in there, then it's going to com combat with our custardiness yep. that we want going on over there. Mm -hmm. So we're just going to cook this for like a minute or two, get, them, get that uh, going. So the onions are kind of yep. you see some translucent, of them. clear a little bit. Yep, they're starting to brown just a little bit yep. there on high. Then we're going to pour our batter in here, uh -huh. stir it around, make sure we get a nice level top. We don't want onions and stems sticking out. Okay. And then we're going to put our uh, meat on the top, and we're going to go in the oven at 350 for... 15 minutes. So you want an oven, oven ready pan? Yep, oven ready. Okay. So stainless sure. steel, cast iron. Yep, anything that's not going to melt. This handle here on this one mm -hmm. is heat proof like you would have the rubber heat proof brush. Yep. yep. So you're all good to go on that. And just a couple and then come back and grab our, get our good egg mix here. Now we're going to pour evenly all the way around. All right. There it is. Some pink peppercorns will tend to float to the top because they are so light. Okay. And they're going to give you a real surprisingly flavor when you get into them. Now this is where we just want to make sure get our tops uh, down, tucked in there. Yep, tuck her in. Give is it a that, little stir. What what happens if it's sticking up? It burns oh, nothing, on the edges yeah. or you, it just, you just might look have right. like here, this onion sticking up like that. Yeah. Just going to burn the top of the onion, yeah. you know. No big deal. It's just right. a little bit bitter as all. Val, can you smell this? You know I can smell it. <laughs> That's why I am here. I can hardly wait to eat it, but that's not ready. No. Nope. It's not going to be ready I'm by doing, the time the show, I'm doing the magic. segment, I got that's right. So my magic right. stove so behind let's, me. So let's get the right. magic, as let's much as make I the hate, magic happen. As much as I hate doing So you saute that, get that ready, sprinkle yep. the top. About three minutes on the stove oh, it top is, here. It is beautiful. Can we get a shot of this? Sprinkle this is your meat on the top. Mm-hmm. Oh, it just smells and so good. And if you want to put good. more cheese on the top, you can. You Last said. five minutes of the oven, so that okay. way you don't burn up your cheese. I'm just going to get my plate ready and okay. my fork. So and now nice. that's set. It's ready to go. You would take it, mm -hmm. throw it in your oven, which I'm going to get the one I already have. And 350 for? 350 for approximately 15 minutes. 15 minutes, all right. And then Voila! this is what you end there up with is. right there, okay? Oh, it looks great. Now, it's like if an omelet pizza. You do it right. You can even just pull it out of the pan. You won't have to cut. Oh. You won't have to cut into your nonstick pan mm -hmm. and scratch it up. And it's Ooh. crustless. 
Yep. It doesn't have a crust. If, it was, if and we it did still this with a crust, crust, it'd be a quiche. It'd be a giant quiche. And this is not okay. a quiche. So okay. it's just all the culinary terms of the same thing, just with one other component. I don't go there. So I am so happy. Actually, uh, <laughs> so just cut it like you would a pizza, mm -hmm. uh -huh. and you're good to go. Okay. Here you go. You got I it? know Stefan was here oh, doing the yeah. show with I'm you, but so hungry. here we go. <laughs> I am so. I don't home. eat breakfast when we know Randy Z's coming mm, to town. It is so good. Okay, that's broccoli. Sim yep, simple. Mm. I can steal the crunches in the broccoli. Oh, wow. And then I just had a burst of flavor. That's that pink peppercorn, that little okay. surprise. Mm -hmm. A little burst of kind of florally, kind of not mm -hmm. real spicy, but a little All right. freshness well, we've, in it. We've got the recipe for Randy Z's mm -hmm. broccoli capicola frittata, and you can find it on our harvest site as well. Uh, thank you so much, Randy, for joining us here today. <laughs> Wanted to talk more a little bit about Cultivate, the great work you're doing with uh, teenagers, but we'll get to that at another time. Well, thank you. we got Brian Bush coming up in just a minute. Don't forget to friend us on Facebook and get this great recipe from Randy Z. Mm, it's 